Hi guys, my name is Ashudosh and welcome to DevSense. So recently we released a new open source project, React Awesome Shapes, and it is currently available on GitHub. So this video will focus on explaining two aspects. The first one is how you can use React Awesome Shapes and what are the different features or customization features the project provides, which you can use in your own website. And the second one is how you can use this package so that uh, your website look really beautiful. So let's get started. So if you can scroll down to the documentation of the project, you can see that this project is available as npm package. So you don't have to clone this project and you don't have to work in this project, but you can directly install this npm package and then it is very simple to import a particular shape from this uh, package and just put that shape into your component. So this is that easy, but now we will understand what are the features that are available in each of these components. So to explain a little bit more, let me create a basic React application. So this is a very basic default React app that I've created using create React app command. And you can see it's app.js file and it is a basic React app. Let me also open up it in browser so that you can get more context. So this is how the app looks right now. So now what we want to do is we want to insert some shapes using react awesome shapes package. So first what we'll do is we'll stop the server and we'll install the package npm install react awesome shapes. Once the package is installed, now we can use this package into our react file. So what we can do is we can import a shape. Let's say we want to import circle so we can import circle from react some shapes. Now the, this com component is in imported, we can use it in here in our component. So for the time being, let's remove this whatever is present in here. If you don't know what props the circle component will have, go to the project repository and open up the project website and the project website also contains the basic code which you can use directly into your website. Also, you can notice that this particular code is editable. So well, let's say right now it is 135 degree. If I put it here 45 degree, the, the component will change dynamically. So you can also test the, your code here or you can go go ahead and copy this code. So I'm copying this code and going back to my React app, I'm pasting this code as it is. Once it is pasted, I'm opening up my server again. And now you can see that we can see our circle. So like that, there are different components which are present in, in React Awesome Shapes. You can look at them through our website. The existing shapes are circle, donut, circle grid, square, diamond, and polygon card. Many other people have raised their pull request to add more shapes as well, which will be available in the near future. Now you may have a question that, is there only these props which I can pass to these com components? No, there are a list of props that you can access or you can pass to these components. Now, how can I know those props? So what you can do is you can go to our project repository and you can go to the usage section of our repository. Here we have mentioned all the shapes which are present in the package as of now. Also, if you see, these are the links of the particular TypeScript files in which that component was implemented. So what you can do is you can open up that particular file and here you will find that component which contains the specific implementation of that component. So let's say for circle, which we have used in our example react app, these are the props which you can pass to get the required functionality. Also, you can note that our design is responsive. What I mean by that is we have a prop called breakpoints. This breakpoints currently have three values. So this is pretty similar to the, those media query packages, which provides responsiveness using media queries. So this is similar to that. So by default, the values of breakpoints is assigned as these three values, but you can change based on your requirement. So what th these breakpoints mean? So these breakpoint means is that you can change any of your other props values based on these breakpoints. What I mean by that is these are three values assigned as breakpoints. So now you can pass 
four values for any of your other props. Let's say if you are passing the array of fours numbers as size. So the first number will be passed for the screen size, which is less than 600. The second one will be used for the screen size, which is between 600 and 900. The third one will be used in the case of screen size, which is in the range of 900 to 1200 and the fourth one will be used when the screen size is greater than 1200 pixels. So this is how the breakpoints will be used. To understand more, you can also see the props here. So what you can see that in place of size, you can either pass string or you can pass array of string. In, in place of top, left and right, you can either pass string or you can pass array of string. Like that you can pass your arguments in the similar way. So this is how you will pass your breakpoints. But one important thing to note is that if your breakpoint array has n elements and if you are passing any other prop, let's say size as array of strings, then you, you must have n plus 1 elements in that other props array. That is why we are passing array of four strings in as size when the breakpoints has three elements. So this is how you can read other, other components TypeScript file as well and you can understand how and what are the props used for that particular component. Most of the components in React Awesome Shapes have similar props. To check whether our responsiveness is working or not, we can see that in our test React application, we have defined size as array of four elements. And these array of four elements describe the size for each screen size. So this 150 pixel will be the first element 150 pixel will be used when the screen size is less than 600 pixel. The second one will be used when screen size will be 600 to 900. Third one will be used when the screen size is between 900 to 1200. The fourth one will be used when the screen size is greater than 1200. If you want to test in our browser whether this responsivity is working or not, then there is a breakpoint right here where the screens which have width greater than greater than 900 pixel will show a circle in 180 pixel size, whereas lower size screen will show the circle in 150 pixel. So let's come back to our browser and see that. So right now our we can see this circle in 180 pixel. Now I'm starting to reduce the width of my browser and you will see that the size of the circle will reduce abruptly. So now you can see that the size of my circle is reduced when I reduce the browser screen. If I expand it again, it again expands. So this is how we can check that our responsivity is working. So this is about how you can implement or how you can insert shapes into your, into your website very easily. Now let us understand how you can insert shapes so that your website will look very beautiful in the end. So what you can do for that is you can use any design tool such as Figma, Adobe XD or InDesign and you can first design your components whatever we use. All of our com components that React Awesome Shapes provides are very basic and you can draw it using any design tools. So what you can do is you can do your design thinking and brainstorming about how do you want your website to look and then you can draw the shapes and you can insert into these prototypes. For example, I've inserted this circle in here. I have this diamond here. I have this circle grid right here and all these shapes here. Now, if I want to, now if I like this look and I want to insert these shapes into my website, what I can do is I can go and click on this shape. I can know the location of that particular shape with respect to this layout and then I can use these particular locations in the component of React Awesome Shapes. And that is how you will be able to insert the shapes in the appropriate position. If you start inserting the shapes at any random position, your website can look pretty bad. And that is why this is the best way in in which you can achieve really amazing aesthetics of your website. So these are the two ways in which you can use React Awesome Shapes in the best possible way and you can use this to look any kind of website really beautiful. Now what if you want to contribute to our project and you want to add more such shapes? It is very simple. You can go through our code base and once you understand our code, you can create an issue that I want to work on creating this shape and one of our contributor will assign that issue to you and you can get 
get started on that and you can create a pull request like other people have created already and then you can you can raise this pull request and somebody will review it also you can contribute in improving our documentation as well as our website for the project so that is it for this video guys i appreciate you for watching this video please like this video share it with your community and comment down what you would like to watch next you can start this project repository to appreciate us and please subscribe to this channel for more such videos thank you so much and stay safe